some Jimmy Licks uh, in Little Wing. Those country chords you hear. Uh, really, really cool approach. Sometimes you'll hear... And that's more Stevie. It enters itself in the part of the song after you've done like the... Uh... part where it goes and I, I think it's real important to talk about uh, the chords getting played over there and I do this with Jimmy's stuff because he was essentially knowing his his place and how to apply majors and minors by understanding where he was in the progression of the song via the chords and that is, uh, that's just essential Hendrix. I mean, you can hear it all over his stuff, but take that part of the song where it does that slide up. You're just playing basically the Hendrix major chord, they call it, with the thumb over. So you're sliding from G to A, going back to G, going back to F. Then the C. Jimmy gets to that intricate part of the song, he's basically taking his root of G here, and he's barring the high E and B, and you're bending up on the G string on the 14th fret, and you're kind of making a G chord. Now, minor, you would kind of hear something like... Essentially, you're just giving yourself a G chord there. Then you're gonna come right over to F. Same, same process. Right over your C and your D. And that's pretty much what happens there. You can alter that, you know. And like I said, he does from time to time. You would hear. different variations or the D chord he would play but for that part and those kind of country style chords that's what he's doing he's obviously not uh, hybrid picking them that way I'm trying to make them jump out so you can kind of follow which way they're going but look at a, a G straight up now when you're bending the g string playing those you don't want to go overboard it's just kind of like a i don't want to say a semi bend because it's more than that but you're just so basically yeah you're gonna go bend it a full step up i guess And what you're turning that into is you're playing, <clears throat> you're playing the 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 top part of a major chord, because you're bending the G note up to that position. You're bending the G note up a full step, but you're getting that cool. 
little tricky to figure out, but it's kind of cool and it adds a cool twang to it. No pun intended, but you get that. You know, and then, I mean, he was all over that with those some of those. But that's just a great, really, really great part because you're essentially t turning this into this. It's all over after that so just follow your chords follow where you're supposed to be playing follow the majors and the minors that's all jimmy did and then you know you just get through your run there 